to him obviously he's popping portions he knows this is a big big war against a big big team here over in Strut and he wants to make a good impression he wants to impress everybody at TWOB and the international community as well he's met a couple of big three stars already for TWOB but I'd say that one against Riga Torres would feel even better we've got plenty of people in from the Indian community from the PAL from Pakistan from all of South Asia cheering on TWOB. But we've got people from Europe, from America, from South America, from Indonesia and the Philippines. You're all here to enjoy this amazing war. And let's see what Sayak could do. Nice little cheeky wizard, but he doesn't get the air defense. That would have been lovely if he did. Again, one rocket loom would be massive up there. He's going to take quite a bit of extra damage. However, Dragon Rider gets there, saves the day. Second air defense also still up. Possibly times his King Queen a little bit late. Needs them to get in front. Turn more dragons back inside. That group in the middle is working hard and we need them to. Clan Castle has to go down. Blimp has to get to safety and it does. What's in there? Feels like it's going to be loons or yetis. Probably loons would be my guess. Because he thinks he's got to save Blimp. And he's right. He's on the town hall. It's not. It's goblins. Wow. Wow. Goblins with an invisibility. Sayak, brave play there, but a very good invisibility. Now then, have we done enough? Let's zoom out. Look at the scatter up north. We get through the enemy champion, and he's realised that with the scatter targeting his dragons, it's an easy take for his champion. Smart play there, using the synergy. Queen struggling on this south side. Unicorn's doing what she can, but the ground expo is a killer. It's going to force the ability quite quickly here. Not in the best place, if I'm being honest. Seeking Shield's going to have to go off. And I don't know if he's got enough to get through. He's got Headhunters for the King. The problem is, with two ground expos, his, healers are just, uh, sorry, his heroes are just taking an absolute beating. Queen down. Diggy going down. One expo has dropped. But that second one is too much for the champion. I can't believe I'm saying this. But it's another defense here. Both teams locking each other out. Just one triple is the difference. TWOB with opportunities to put daylight between them. But it hasn't happened. And Strut cling on with another big defense. And Strut can't keep failing. We know there's a triple waiting to happen. Will it be Riga Torres? Will it be Darkstar? But TWOB, got to get a little bit nervous now. Got to get a bit concerned. Feels like they've had their chances. And Strut will now step up and try and get that triple back. Wow, what a war. What a war. The tension, it's so tight. It really is. 80% on the board. Can we get any more? Let's find out. 80. No, it will be. Oh, no, 81. We've got it. I'm just going to say, we do get the lab. Well played by Sayak. Text it for 81 with the minion.
in. We've got another super chat over on YouTube. Dr. Chiru, he says, your energy is never ending. Thank you so much to him. But again, it's all about the teams. Let's get ready to go because Sarayan wants to answer back for Strut. They need it already. For some reason, I just feel that TWOB are feeling it today. Let's see if Strut can get a triple and get themselves back on the triple train. We will see. Quick Charge setting us up and we're going in to the big 27 of attack. And this is a big question mark on Clash of Plans. Do you use Super Hogs? Do you use all Super Hogs? Do you use regular hybrid with the Miners? Do you use a Hog and Super Hog hybrid? What is the best strategy? So Ryan says, Adam, I like my Hogs. Thank you very much. That new level is what we want. Welcome all of you. We're up to 227 likes and Sarayan is in for Strut. TWOB in the lead. Strut wanted to get their first triple of this matchup. Couple of ground scatters. No real threat for the Queen, but he does want this Queen to turn back in. At the minute she's following the King, where does she go next? Rage Tower dealt with. Come on Queen, what's next? Ground Expo, good to see. We want them down. They're doing big damage. Just peppering both our heroes. There goes one. There goes two. Well played, Queen. And now... She goes for the wall. Why? Look at the space. You can walk round. Come on, Queen. Look at the space. Oh, that Queen. That Queen. Now, I will say... There is a weird advantage here. Maybe she could see that monolith in the background. She's like, I don't want to go near that. So, maybe she's being super smart. But yeah, that's weird. We should have walked around the walls. Would have been much quicker. And I've got to say, it deals with that town hall quite nicely. And now avoids the poison. Which means that Queen's in a really good place. Champion on the south side. Hogs causing carnage in the middle. But they would love to get to that multi-inferno. At the minute, you can see the damage that it's doing. It's wrecking our Hogs. Champion finishes off the monolith. But she's not got enough to get through this middle. Queen, it's down to you. We have an ice golem. It's not really going to add much here. You can see Sarayan's had to make some adjustments, make some plays. Warden's still zapping, thank goodness. There's a lot of time fails creeping in, and Sarayan realises that. So he goes Ice Golem Wizard combo. That could get him defences and get him clean up. But the Queen falls over. It's going to be a defence. Wow. Now this is bizarre here. Because I think that that Queen... I don't know if Sarayan knew that that Queen would path like that. And I certainly don't know if he, if he knew that she'd go through the wall instead of going round to the Town Hall. Champion didn't path with the Hogs. She went separately. Maybe the Hogs and the Champion should have gone together and just sent some um, sent some side Hogs, some uh, surgical Hogs to help him out. This is tough. I feel for him a little bit. But the Super Minion... Is Drago going to do the same? We're just talking about, we've seen quite a few wars today. And every war, a team has blasted out at the start, gone two stars up, and then has faced the fight bike. Let's see if Drago's going to do the same. I love these super barbarians. Just doing some good work on the side. Again, pro players are really good with any funnel troop. Whether that be little wizards, little archers, whether it be minions, whether it be golems, whether it be yetis. There's so many different ways to funnel and the best players in the world are the ones that know each and every one of them. Here we go, Log Launcher into the middle, Queen following round. Obviously Queen going to get the Rage Tower first. Log Launcher, wow it's really interesting here from Drago. I was going to say it's getting into a dangerous area but because the golem had the expo locked up that was really interesting. Well played, Queen. Super weak. Sneaks round. Can she get the eagle? She's trying. Oh, she turns for the golems. That's unfortunate, but I still think she's going to get the eagle in the end. 
up north, Drago launches his Lalo. Little bit of a different entry here from Drago. But I like it. It's got him very good value. Remember, CC is already dealt with. Queen's now going to take some hits. I don't think she survives. She has the ability. Maybe she survives here. If the loons can get to that X bottle, there is a chance that she does a bit more. And that sweep is fantastic. Now, he has used that early tome. Nice tornado trap from Sarayan. Stops him on the town hall. Oh, wow. Drago, for a second, I thought he had it. But obviously, the brilliant tornado trap. Early tome. And we're in trouble. Champion going round the outside. We have a super barbarian. Four loons. That's not enough. It's not enough to get it done. Seeking shield will be going off pretty quickly, I would think, here. That king up top is kept out of the way, which is a bit lucky. Ground exposed the problem. In go the loons. In goes the super barbarian. Why did he not put the giant in first? That would have been a smarter play. Small mistake there. Scatter still up. Enemy queen still up. We can't get them. It's going to be a defense. Down we go. It's close. It's very close. But Sarayan gets the hole. Drago. Interesting setup. I kind of like what he did on the bottom side. I do wonder. I mean, I don't think he brings a wall breaking.